Also, next part, what you need to check in your contract before signing, are your work hours stipulated correctly? Very important point. Because I feel like this is one of the sections where um, the employer might uh, look for loopholes. So the more detailed this is written down and stated in the contract, the better. So this is another example from the EPIC, um, EPIC program in Korea and their contract. So how it is stated here. So Article 7, work hours. It is very clear, um, indicated here, clearly indicated the employee shall work eight hours per day for five calendar days per week from Monday to Friday. So, oh, oh, what happened here? Okay, here we go. Um, if this is not written down like this, you know, imagine like if the five calendar days uh, per week from Monday to Friday, if this part is missing, they could basically have you work on the weekends and whenever they want. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. And usually, uh, it doesn't say it here, but in my, I remember from my contract, it even states uh, the times, the exact times of the day that you work. So like what time you need to be there and until like when uh, you can go home, the times of the day. This is missing here because I guess it's just different um, from school to school and like Epic because every Epic operates for a lot of pretty much all of the public schools in Korea. So they all might have different times. So that's why it's not stated here. But um, that should also be in there. Your exact like starting day and yeah, things like that. One second here. Okay, good. And then also uh, your teaching hours, very important. So not only work hours, but usually also teaching hours or working days um, should be indicated. So employees class instruction hours. Ugh, I don't know why it's doing that. <laughs> employees class instruction hours per week shall not exceed 22 hours. So that's the teaching hours. If you teach more than 22 hours, um, you would get overtime pay. That's also stated here, right? So here. Uh, if, however, the employee's actual weekly class instruction hours exceed 22 hours due to supplementary class instruction, the employee shall be entitled to supplementary class instruction pay of 20,000 won per hour. That's about um, 18, 18, $18 or something like that. Um, yeah, so overtime is clearly stated, things like that, right? Um, very important. I think this part is one of the most important ones and this should be written down as detailed as possible. So like I said here, um, it clearly states eight hours per day for five calendar days per week, Monday to Friday, typically. Uh, oh, and it also says, and shall not work on Saturdays and Sundays and also Labor Day and any national holidays of the public, Republic of Korea. So that's also very important that it states that you do not work on public holidays, um, but there can be English camps, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and yeah, there should be also the hours of the day when you start and when you finish. And like, this could also be different, right? Monday might be different from Tuesday, from Wednesday, so. But it should be written down in the contract as well. Good. <laughs> I hope I'm still making sense here. Yeah, so this is an example of where they have um, the start time. Very good. So here again, this is from a different contract, not the EPIC program. Um, so Monday to Friday. Uh, and here we have general hours of the Institute are from 10 a.m. to 7.40 p.m. And it also says free lunch provided and when your break is. So from 1.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. break. And only classroom teaching in excess of 120 teaching hours per month approved by the academic director is to be considered as overtime. And then there's probably a clause about overtime and how much overtime pay you get, right? So this is another great example with 
um, the times stating when you start, when you finish, and also when your break time is, and that you get free lunch. So all of these things um, are very important to check that they are in there um, in the contract, right? Not saying that every school provides free lunch, but if that's something that they already told you before during the interview, for example, that you will get free lunch and it's not in the contract, then you need to let them know and they can add that in, right? I mean, contracts, they can be revised many, many times until everybody's happy, um, right? So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.